Welcome back, family. And today um, is going kind of bad. <laughs> we have a giant leak in our bedroom where the water heater was dripping water basically nonstop. And so we have this closet where the water heater's in and the washer and dryer. So it was running behind the washer and dryer and we couldn't even see it. And then it was leaking underneath her crib onto the carpet and we had no idea until the water had gone all the way out from underneath her crib. So that's the situation. And I can go ahead and show y'all real quick. As you can see when you walk in, and the water's all underneath there. And it was dripping out of there and running through the back all the way underneath her crib. And then it just started getting everywhere. So we're waiting on that to get fixed. So that's what's up with our bedroom right now. And we have people over trying to work on it. And we can't do anything until they're done. So, in the meantime, we're just going to scream and play. Right? Cameron's doing your makeup. Makeup is done and the leakage was fixed. Now we're headed out going to Lowe's to get a pot for our plant that's in our living room and maybe Christmas tree. If you did not know, we are going on a trip to Texas for Thanksgiving. We're gonna spend Thanksgiving with Landon's family. We are also going to visit our friend Allie while we're down there too. She lives in Houston. But yeah, we are leaving on this trip in two days and it is cold in Texas. I mean, cold, like cold, cold, like 40 something degrees. I know that to most people, 40 degrees isn't that cold, especially if you live up north. But I grew up in Hawaii and I'm just so not used to cold weather and I'm still getting used to it. So please just cut me a break. 40 degrees is cold, okay? And here in Florida, it is like 70 something degrees. So we don't have any real winter clothes, especially for Colette. So we're gonna get Colette some nice, warm, cozy clothes for our trip. So yeah, on the list today, get a pot for our plant, prepare for our Texas trip, and get a Christmas tree. Like I said, we don't get back from our trip until December, so I want to have the Christmas tree so that way when we get back, Christmas will be in full swing. I'm the type of person to not celebrate Christmas at all until December. I'm a firm believer in not putting up Christmas decorations until Thanksgiving has passed. I just feel like Thanksgiving is so important and it's just one of my favorite holidays. I feel like it's underappreciated. It's really crucial to take the time in November and just have that just for Thanksgiving and then do all the Christmas stuff. But here we are buying a Christmas tree in November, but we're not gonna assemble it until December, I swear. Anyways, we're going to Lowe's, we're gonna get a Christmas tree and a pot for a plant, but I already said that, let's go. Yeah, I lied. Um, we're actually going to Home Depot. I don't know the difference between Lowe's and Home Depot, apparently. I see all the Christmas stuff. Oh, wow. Right in the front. <laughs> okay, so I think we should get a white one. That's what I think, too. Because it'll match our apartment really well. We have a white couch. I don't like this one, though. Oh, I, don't that white one. I like that one. That's cute. <laughs> Seven feet, 7.5 feet has lights on it. Are we sure we want white? You just said you want white. You're like, uh, I want white. I don't know, there's a lot of pressure. Or do you want like a pine cone one, like a cool one? Let's look around some. I think the white one will be good, because this is 7.5 feet. 
That would be too big for our apartment. That would literally be like yeah. the top would be bent. We have a short little uh, ceiling. But yeah, this so. is the white one over here. Look. That's cute. What do you think? White? Pichichi or one with pine cones in it? I vote the white one. I think the white one, and it comes with lights, so. Okay, can you uh, move the cart other way around? Okay. <laughs> That's how you're gonna do it? Um. Okay, that's how we're gonna do it. All right, let's go pick out some uh, ornaments. So, for the ornaments, our house is like blue and white. So, obviously, we're gonna have a white Christmas tree. Let's get some blue ornaments. Oh, wow, that's pretty. Look at that. This one? Yeah, like a few big ones, and then we'll get that. So, you know, do like a blue tree? I don't know. These are a little too big. Those I are mean, ornaments. Our tree's not that big. Uh uh. Okay, Let's how about we just do um, this one and then that. this one? We don't need that many. Look how many. It'll be like different shades of gray and then blue. That's not gray, baby. That's gray. That's silver. Gray. Oh my silver. God. It's silver. Gray to silver. No, it's all silver. Okay, it's all silver. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, so you going to do these two? I feel like we should get two of these. Okay. So we should get this for our front porch. Oh, we also need a topper. I love this one. It matches, you know? Ooh, this is also really pretty. And so is this. I think we should go with this one. Too many decisions. There's also a little angel. I don't know, as long as it's silver. Yeah. All right, that one will do. I can't believe we're getting our first family Christmas tree. This is so special, you know? Like, Colette's first Christmas, our first Christmas together as a family. <sighs> this is crazy. I can't believe this is already happening. Christmas crept up on us so fast. We so, probably can't do like a super big one like the ones up there. But we can still wrap lights around like our little porch, right? You want to do red lights, blue lights, or I green want lights? white. You want white lights? Boring. <laughs> How about we just get this one where it's... We can wrap it around our bush like that. Net lights. I don't want to do the bush. Actually, let's do both. We'll do this one. We'll get this one for the bush, and then we'll get this one for the uh, poles. Okay, I think that's enough Christmas stuff for now. We are in the gardening section. We're actually not really gardeners. We're kind of posers. We only have fake plants, but we need a pot for our fake plants, so that's what we're looking for. This one's plastic. You wanna do this one? I yeah. like this one. I think this one will work. That's cute. By the way, I forgot to do an outfit of the day, so I'm wearing Landon's shirt from H&M. It's a boy shirt, no shame, no shame. This cardigan from Target. Oh wait, actually it's from Walmart. These jeans are from H&M and my black booties are from Steve Madden. And Landon, what you wearing today, buddy? I got the Vans, I got the Vans backpack. Look at you. All right, I think we're ready to check out. It's almost getting grumpy. Home Depot was a success, and I'm just feeding her a bottle right now. Right when she finishes that, we're gonna be off to Home Goods or Marshalls or one of the two to get a tree skirt and some stockings. All done, and we're right outside of Home Goods. I'm gonna run in. Landon's gonna wait in the car because we only need a few things, so it shouldn't take me too long. Say bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> All right, let's go. So I found the stockings and the bed skirts, and I can't find anything that would look good. Nothing that matches. So Home Goods was a fail, but I did find these two things: a little reindeer and a little Christmas tree. And I think those would look really good, just like on our side tables and our coffee table. I also found this because we need something to hang our stockings on. So it wasn't a complete failure. I know that I said. Christmas should only be celebrated in December, but I'm really starting to get in the Christmas spirit with all this Christmas stuff everywhere I look. Anyways, they didn't have what I was looking for in there, so I'm going right next door to Marshalls to see if we can get some stockings and some tree skirts. They have a lot more tree skirt options here. I really like this one, but I also really like this one with like the silver accent, you know? I think I'm gonna go with this one. 
Not a whole lot of cute stockings. I don't think we're gonna find what we're looking for here. These wrapping papers are super pretty though, so I think I'm gonna get these two. I think we're done in Marshalls, time to check out. Um, never mind. On the way out, I found this little outfit and it says tutus and touchdowns and I'm gonna get it for her for the, her first Thanksgiving. We officially have all the Christmas stuff we need besides stockings, but we're gonna find those eventually. But yeah, we're all ready for Christmas. And we even have an outfit for Colette's first Thanksgiving. More stuff. Yeah. Now we are on our way to Walmart. Hopefully we find stockings there, but if not, we're just gonna get some warmer clothes for our trip to Texas. We have arrived, we're at Walmart. Guys, you'll have to see Colette, look at her. She's big enough to sit in the chair thing. You're so big. <laughs> you don't like being a big girl? <laughs> being a big girl is hard. I'm getting like four of them. <laughs> and then Colette found this little reindeer outfit that she's gonna get. And she loves it. You love it? Um, we're eating it? No, we don't eat our new clothes. We don't eat it. It's not for eating. You wear it. You wear it on your body. We also need to restock on a formula while we're here. Got a comfy pair of black sweatpants for Landy, and I think that's it for him. Besides socks, he does need socks. And then we're gonna just take a peek in my section and make sure there's nothing in there that we need for me. And then we'll be out of here. These are so soft and <laughs> what's wrong? <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you think of this? This is super cute. I like the little fray on the sleeves. I also, there's a blue one. I kind of like the blue one too. See? Both super cute. I don't know which one. I think I like the blue one. These pants would normally be a little out there for me, but I think I'm gonna give them a try. They're very edgy and like urban outfittersy, but I like them. I'm gonna try them out. Plus, they're from Walmart and they're only like a few bucks, so if I don't like them, it's whatever. Uh huh. Who are you talking to? <laughs> What? <laughs> you can move miles. What's that big smile for? <laughs> you saying hello? <laughs> Alright, <laughs> I'm gonna get this. It's super soft. Um, and then I think we're done. I think we got all the uh, warm clothes that we need for this winter. Let's get it! Let's get it! She slapped me in the face. All right, let's check out.
another successful Walmart trip. Now we are actually headed to my mom's house because we need some suitcases so we can get to packing for our trip. We actually just got a super cool email from our wedding venue that we picked out. They said that June 22nd was a confirmed yes and that means that we have picked our wedding venue, which is super exciting because that means that we can send out wedding invitations really, really soon. So when we stop by my mom's house to get the suitcases, we're also gonna do a little bit of wedding planning while we're there as well. The wedding planning never ends. Here you go, sir. God bless Thank you, you very much. Such a sweetheart. But yeah, that's so great that we finally have a venue picked out, which also means that we also have a confirmed date picked out because the date really depends on when the venue was available. And I really, really, really wanted it to be June 22nd because as you might know, that is our anniversary of dating. So we're gonna keep the same anniversary when we get married. That's such good news. I've been waiting to hear back from them for a while. Hello, we're here to steal all your suitcases. All right, we are back and we have a ton of laundry to do. And when I say a ton, I mean a ton. Found a dollar. What the heck? All right, we're gonna get started on this and this is pretty much what the rest of our evening looks like, just folding these and packing. That took forever. For you guys, it was probably only a few minutes, but I feel like we've been packing and doing laundry for like three hours. Colette is now in bed. Landon put her to sleep while I finish up packing. In our next vlog, we will be driving down to Texas for Thanksgiving break. And in that vlog, we actually have a really, really big announcement to announce to you guys. Sounds stupid. <laughs> In that vlog, we actually have a super big life changing announcement. What are you laughing at? Super big doesn't sound good. Like, we have a super big. <laughs> what do I say? We have a ginormous. Ginormous? In the next vlog, we will be driving down to Texas for Thanksgiving bake. Yo, y'all trying to go to the Thanksgiving big. And we have a ginormous announce. That's a horrible word. <laughs> ginormous. <laughs> no. Just say huge. Okay. So we have a huge I announce. said huge, didn't I? 
And we actually have a huge life-changing announcement to tell you guys in the next video. So make sure you have post notifications on so you do not miss it. I feel like I say giant life-changing announcement all the time, but I promise you it's actually very big and life-changing, at least for us. It's going to change our lives a lot in a positive way. And we're really looking forward to telling you guys this because we've been sitting on this little secret for a few weeks now. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next video, Kimberly. <laughs>